Hey all, welcome to this week's favorite collection here at the CIO PCC. And the collection we're going to be talking about today is one that wasn't even considered possible 20 years ago. If you ask the company, hey, when are we going to get some 60s Batman stuff? They would tell you, never going to happen because the license is too hard to get. It's all messed up. It's all trapped within different companies, all having uh, different claims. As you can see here is the Hot Wheels 118th scale Batmobile from the show. One of my favorite Batmobiles of all time, so you're going to see a lot of those. And yet, eventually, with a lot of perseverance and determination, companies finally managed to break it free. There's the Elite Collection again, same Batmobile, but I have it in the box. And once they did break the uh, license free, boy, everybody started doing stuff. Here's some Mezco Mezits, including some of the villains like Riddler and Catwoman and Joker. And down below we have some more Hot Wheels. These are probably... Uh, 148 scale, you got the Batmobile, the Bat Cycle, and the uh, Batgirl Bat Cycle. Over here we have some Funko. They did this four inch line, including both versions of Mr. Freeze. I think they're the only ones who did both versions, using both actors. They also did this Batmobile. As you can see, the Batman and Robin fit nicely inside, although it is a little underscaled. That's a common problem. Down this way we have some Vinyl Idols. I think these guys were going for the uh, sweet pop money, but uh, never quite made it that far. I don't even know if Vinyl Idols are still around. But at least they did some for that license. Back there, Hiding is a bendy joker. And Diamond Select is another company that did quite a bit of work um, with the 66 line. Here's some banks, including a penguin. Now the penguin, he has a cigarette holder and a cigarette that's uh, attached to his wrist back there in a little baggie that I haven't taken out yet. Diamond Select also did a nice set of busts, including this Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson back here around the corner. They didn't do uh, two Mr. Freezes. They did the one, but they did do two Catwomen, including the great Eartha Kitt. And they even did a bat to see Batman. He's that back there in the corner doing his dance. Now this next series, I already did a video on. So if you go and check my channel, you'll see a longer video all about the tweeter head statues. I love these. These are easily my favorite 60s Batman collectible uh, line. They are one of my favorite collectibles in my entire collection. I just love these things. And we're talking about doing an Alfred. I wish we'd gotten that Alfred. But check the other video if you want to see and hear more about that line. Diamond Select also did some statues. And here you can see the Joker. Batgirl. Batman and Catwoman. I have a whole bunch of vehicles, as I said. There's the Batcopter from Hot Wheels. As well as these itty bitty little ones here, the Bat Cycle, the Joker, and Batmobile. You can see how tiny those are. Down here we have uh, some more Hot Wheels. They love to do variations on the Batmobile. There's one where the Penguin stole it. Here's one with the uh, trailer and the Bat Boat. All six of these are different in some way, shape, or form, as well as the one back here in the case. And I bet there's more variations on it done by hot wheels in that 164 scale so here we have if you watched my uh top 10 six scale jokers list from earlier this week you've seen the mars toys sees the romero joker which i think is a fantastic job and it looks terrific with the hot toys batman and robin sadly i do not own a jazz ink batmobile i really really wish i did but i just can't afford it at this point However, if some wealthy donor would like to come along, hey, more than happy. And here we have the uh, sidecar with the Bat Cycle. This is a 118th scale by Hot Toys. Now let's talk about some of the 6 and 7 inch scale stuff. So we know Mattel's worked on it. We know McFarlane's worked on it. And Mattel did sort of the 6 inch. There's Batman, Bruce Wayne with the mask off. Uh, in the back here we have the McFarlane place at the latest one the library and i put the neca batman with the dc direct uh alfred that alfred actually came with a bunch of different heads and i uh, used the one from the 60s show for mine of course 
But you can see the NECA one is a little taller than this Batman over here. This is the six inch uh, Mattel version. And then these are both of the six inch McFarlane figures go along with the bat cycle. Mattel also did a couple of Barbies. They did Ken as Batman and they did Barbie as Catwoman from the 60 show. Oh, let's come around this side. You can see that there was plenty of space over there with the library because I am hoping that uh, we get a whole lot more uh, figures from McFarlane. They're doing a much better job going deeper on this line than anybody else ever has. Certainly more than I ever expected. I mean, here we have the Batcave and the Villains Lair. We have a bunch of villains along with the Batmobile. Uh, if you notice, Mr. Freeze there has his freeze gun. Don't worry, you didn't miss something in the package. What uh, That was actually a uh, custom that was done for me by a friend. Here's the Bat Boat that just recently came out from McFarland. Back in the back there in that TV-shaped box is the uh, Bat Tusi version from Mattel. And this is the Mattel Batman and Robin with their Batmobile. They did a much better job in terms of scale. You'll notice the Batman and Robin fits there much nicer. Here's the McFarlane one again. The McFarlane one is a little under scale, but this one is much better scale, a little longer. And uh, here we have all of the Mattel villains that they did, uh, including the uh, uh, Batgirl that was a uh, con exclusive back there. So, let's come around this corner down here, and you'll see that we have a variety still to open up for McFarlane. So I'm gonna need that space over there, as well as this tin, which has the uh, first four figures that they did. Multiverse did a one-off Batman from the classic show. Sadly, they didn't do anything else. I'm kind of bummed that they didn't, because that would have been pretty cool if we'd gotten a few more on that scale. Down here we have a Lego Batmobile. Lego actually did a really great Batcave for the Sixty show as well. But uh, I didn't pick that up. I just picked up the classic Batmobile. And I also picked up the one from Jada Toys here. You can see these are about uh, 124th scale, these die-cast cars that Jada Toys has been doing. And, of course, they had to have one for the uh, 60s classic television show. So that pretty much covers all of my 66 Batman stuff. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And actually, there is one more thing I'll mention. I haven't had a place to put it yet, but it's the five-point set uh, with uh, all of the figures that uh, Mezco did. It's an excellent set. I'm going to have to play set with it. I'll get around to finding a place to put that eventually. Uh, it just hasn't happened yet. So, let me know what your favorite uh, classic Batman television series collectibles are, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Until next week, have a good one.